Okay, so track once I just start my day and I uh, not happy starting. So I just started how I said 30 minutes ago and then the connector of the cooling hose just uh, pop out. So the half of it stick in the engine and half of it is just with the hose out. So I just uh, contact with the road service. I found actually one, most of them they said bring it in. But I found one here in uh, Houston, what uh, they come here and they fix it on spot. And I'm here next to this uh, new bridge, what they make with on 99 and 249 around Tombow, Texas. So north of Houston. So I'm right here waiting for the road service so they can uh, fix this. So check this out with uh, what's going on. You see all this uh, coolant fluid all the way there pop all over and the piece it's right there okay I'm gonna make uh, check this video here now you guys see uh, it's kind of a uh, back there so it's a little bit uh, probably they have to take some pieces out I don't know I never saw them replacing that but the guys is coming they said the new pieces now they are metal they are not making plastic anymore which is not supposed to be in plastic from the first place but I guess uh, yeah now they said by the phone the new type it's a uh, metal so they now be able to break but the other pieces on plastic so maybe that will not break Hopefully none of them they break again, but uh, yeah, some other ones they are still in plastic. So, but at least this one will be in metal. So I'm gonna show you the uh, at the end of this video how uh, how that look like once they, they fix it. And hopefully the guy bring uh, some uh, coolant fluid with them because I'm empty. So because that pipe is kind of very low, so it's not too much coolant anymore. Like all the coolant get out from the engine so hopefully he's bringing some I know uh, five gallons or whatever is get in the engine here so yeah uh, check this result here what they finish and uh, how they uh, what they put the new piece which they said is not plastic okay, so it's over all the night so uh, finally fix it lot of problems because they send the tire mechanic with a little bit more engine mechanic which is supposed to be so he was the first thing he fixed that and i knew more than he did and first i sent him the picture what the piece what was missing and what we need to replace he came he don't even know what he have to do obviously he didn't have the missing piece what we need to replace and took five hours to go looking for it come back took like four hours to replace it he put it wrong we lost all the coolant again he bought more cooling so he go buy more cooling again we put it back in i help him this time to be to do it right okay because I, I think i'm more mechanic than he than he was so it's already close to midnight right now so uh, they tried to charge me $1,500 for this cost $12 the broken piece because now they make it a metal cost $12 I understand labor I understand people have to work to make money but it was ridiculous 15 so finally I negotiate with them you guys lost the cooling because of your your guy fault not my fault and I negotiated we pay a thousand dollars which I still think it's a lot but I said okay the guy lost all his day here he pay a lot of cooling. He go to buy cooling again and all the stuff. So yeah, so it cost me a thousand dollars to fix this issue. And one day, one load was canceled because I could not go there to pick it up. So yeah, this is a uh, trucking guys. So I'm gonna show you this picture what they, uh, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna make a picture of what, uh, what we did. And my hands, they are still, I clean up a little bit, but they're still, crazy and uh, now i'm just uh, part of the truck and going home ok 
Okay, let me see guys if you can show you what we replaced here. So I don't know with the lights. So how you can see, this is the piece, the new one. So now it's a metal one. They have like the little blue holes there. So yeah, the, I see here. So we replace both the metal one and all the way up there. So you can see all this uh, one foot long, approximately something like that, not exactly one foot, but yeah, around one foot long hose we replace because there are two different ones like a small hose then was a uh, connected to the metal one and then the metal one come back up here connected to the plastic one what broke so this is what we uh, replace all this together so the guy first time he put this this new piece here with no teflon with nothing he just put it there hoping probably making a prey oh i hope it's not leaking that's how you guys know the the cooling system it's hitting now you guys know the cooling system it's getting super hot and it's making pressure so if you have a little hole or something the pressure is losing and then from that pressure the the fluid it's it's leaking so he just twists it there and that's it he says well okay i think it's not gonna be right so oh, hopefully it's good and if not you're gonna have to go to a to a service shop and fix it fuck i'm staying all day long here to make it right and you tell me this is temporary thing so we put it back in we put all the exhaust system back and everything and then obviously i turned the engine and he said go start in i'm gonna look and start the engine and said oh, oh stop 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 it's uh it's leaking it's leaking so obviously fucker obviously it's leaking you know it's uh cannot do something like this so yeah now um uh, finally did it so um i think we need to change thermostat in the past so i stop i stop i bought my thermostat with all the missing parts and maybe i can uh replay the thermostat by myself and uh, i have the part because I, sometimes the the truck even before replacing this piece it's not to recirculate the the coolant and it showed me like i have no coolant like the coolant is low i stopped the truck five minutes later the coolant come back in the reservoir here so could be the the thermostat so i bought a new one i will check to see if i can do it seems like i can do it but you never know if I have time and everything. I don't want to do it somewhere in over the road, maybe home. Because in this way, if I cannot do it, I take it to the shop. I don't want to end up like uh, making a small trouble in a bigger problem. So yeah, this was guys, I spent, uh, how I said, a thousand dollars on this, uh, this little metal new piece where they replaced the old plastic one. So yeah, in the end, the plastic one, we still, since he didn't have too many tools, we, uh, the plastic, what was stuck in there, we used my pocket knife. I have a pocket knife, what I bought like 10 years ago, seven, eight years ago, whatever. We go to camping once in California and we didn't have a knife. So we stopped at a uh, gas station, we bought a knife. And with the knife, it was pretty easy to take it out, but he have no tools, like, it's, it's, why are you coming here with no tools, man? It's like half of his tools, what he used was mine. But anyway, so in the end, the guy tried, the guy on the phone, the, what sent him, he asked me $1,500. And I'm not gonna pay $1,500. It's, it's ridiculous, you know? So yeah, it's uh, this is this guy's one little plastic piece can ruin the entire day and you lose a, a load. The good part was I was empty and we just canceled the load. But think about if you're loaded, think about the people with the reefer, right? Like you have loaded, you have uh, appointments, you have uh, perishable food, and you don't have 12 hours to stay in a road and fix it. Obviously, it's a different story because then you, they send a different truck. Because I, I pick up once uh, one of those delivery 
when I was doing power only, they called me goat because the truck broke and I did the delivery for them and then bring the trailer back. So uh, the, it's always a solution, but this plastic ruined my day. So thank you guys for watching and this is what's happened with the plastic um, cooling system.